arsenic uh, is present everywhere and we're exposed to it on a daily basis. As such, it goes into our water supply and into our food supply, so we're constantly drinking and eating arsenic. Now, one of the places that uh, is especially uh, a problem is in rice, because rice is a natural arsenic accumulator. And so for many uh, people and in many places of the world, rice is the number one source of arsenic in our diets. In the southern part of the United States, back about 50 years ago, cotton fields were uh, treated with arsenic to defoliate them, to allow for planting of the next uh, crop. We no longer use those fields for cotton. We use them now for growing rice. But the arsenic remains. You can't really get rid of the arsenic very easily. So that rice is accumulating a lot of arsenic. And if you buy rice that comes from the southern part of the United States, Louisiana, Texas, it's extremely high in arsenic, some of the highest in the world. So what does the arsenic do? It increases your risk of a number of different kinds of diseases. Arsenic has been associated with diabetes, it's been associated with cardiovascular disease, with neurological diseases, but its most important uh, and uh, dangerous uh, association is with cancer. Um, arsenic increases the um, risk of a number of different kinds of cancers, uh, for example, skin cancer and bladder cancer. Does that mean that it's going to kill you tomorrow? No. It's not that it's going to um, kill you in one year, five years, even ten years. What it will do, though, is to increase the possibility that you might get bladder cancer or other kinds of cancers uh, later on in life. And this is a serious issue because anytime we can decrease the risk of cancer, uh, it's worth doing.